at least three bikes. Now you need three bikes. For sure you do, at a minimum. I'm removing mountain bikes from this equation. I'm removing basic commuter bikes from this as well. But when you live in Ottawa or places like this, at a minimum, if you plan on riding in the fall and a little bit in the winter, like I am today, or in the spring, you need three bikes, or you need multiple wheel sets and multiple tires. I'll dig into that in a second. I wanted to show you though, the Rideau Canal. So over my shoulder here is actually Dow's Lake. Yeah, they just come to me. This is a tourist mecca. We have a festival here in Ottawa called Winterlude. It lasts for three weeks, three weeks in February. People come from all over the world to enjoy winter, harsh, harsh winter in Ottawa, and to skate on the lovely Rideau Canal. Last year it didn't open at all, for the first time ever. What are we, in the middle of February now? It's been open for two days, a couple of weeks ago, when it was minus stupid. But it is six degrees today, and check it out. So if you want to go for a swim, eh, hmm, could be worse. So what happens when you get these thaws in the winter? And trust me, I know we're not done with winter yet. However, I'm embracing this thaw. What happens is you get the runoff from the snow banks, which is fine. But when those start to recede, you start to pick up all this shit. Sometimes literally shit on the side of the road and what happens and one of the reasons why I chose to do a vlog this week is all the crap that comes off cars and trucks during the winter months tend to reside in the snowbanks so when those melt and recede they make their way onto the side of the road so if you want to go for a little ride a little noodle you run the risk of flatting and that's what happened yesterday. Super stoked to get out yesterday on the new Velo Orange. If you're new to this vlog, I'll put a link in the description below from last week's video. I just got a new Velo Orange Rando. Wanted to get it out, which I did. More on that on another vlog. So that bike is running Slicks, Pana Racer, Gravel Kings, Slicks, 33s but not tubeless. So I picked up a little shard of glass at some point. Erg. Changed the inner tube, put a new one in, faffed around with the CO2 canisters. Those things didn't work. Ended up having to call a buddy to come and get me. At least I got out. So yeah, three bikes. You need an A bike, you need a B bike, and you need a C bike at least, at a minimum. But why is that? Let's start with the C bike. The C bike is your bike that you care a little bit about, but not a ton about. This is the bike that you don't really care if it goes through a lot of muck. Um, you care enough about it that you wanna clean it at the end of the ride. But if it gets scratched up a little bit, that's okay. You don't care if it goes through a salt pile. Again, you're gonna clean it anyways at the end. Um, but where you wouldn't ride your A bike through a salt pile, you don't mind so much riding your C bike through a salt pile. You don't mind riding your C bike through a pile of crap on the side of the road. You care about it, you do, but you just don't care as much about it as your A or your B bike. Now my C bike is a felt F 3X. It is a cyclocross specific bike. It has a cyclocross specific geometry to it. I'm running fairly wide Panaracer Gravel Kings on it. Now the important thing about having a C bike and riding it in these winter conditions is that this one is set up tubeless. I highly recommend if you're gonna do any riding in the spring or in the fall that you set up your bike tubeless. So the checklist again for the C bike, you care about it, but not too much. You don't mind if it gets scratched up. You're gonna throw a lot of crap at it and on it and it doesn't bother you. And ideally you set it up tubeless 
so you don't have to worry about flatting those inner tubes and those little shards of glass or metal aren't really gonna have a huge impact because as you know with tubeless, for the most part, they're self-healing. The B bike. This is the bike that you care a little bit more than the C bike and a little bit less than the A bike. This is a bike in my case, which is the new addition to the stable. It's the Velo Orange Rando. This one's set up for obviously a longer distance ride. It has fairly wide Panaracer Gravel King slicks on it. These are 33s. I think the limitation on this frame is around 35 millimeters. These are H-Sun Plus hoops, uh, which sadly are not tubeless compatible. So I may have to look at changing that at some point. But again, the intention for the B-Bike is not to ride it in super crappy conditions uh, where you've got that snow runoff and leaving all the uh, glass and metal shards on the side of the road. This is a bike that you want at least the street sweepers to have passed a few times before you get it out on the road. You don't mind a little bit of rain, you don't mind a few puddles, but no salt, no shards, and almost a bluebird kind of day. My B bike, the Velo Orange Rando. Now for your A bike, this is the one, this is your pride and joy. This is the one that you spent the most money on, probably. This is the one you like to show off. This is the one that's your statement bike. This is the one that usually has the very good components on it, either Jurace or SRAM Red, Altegra, DI2, something very sexy. Usually has the sexier wheels on it. Um, cockpit and all those good things are usually carbon fiber. So your A bike is your pride and joy. This is the one that you want to keep inside, wrapped in blankets or in bubble wrap until you get that beautiful, beautiful, beautiful bluebird day. Conditions are just right. Conditions are perfect to get out that A bike. This is not a bike that you ride in the spring. This is typically not a bike you ride in the fall. This is your summer bike for those long, luscious, warm summer days. This is the one you embrace. This is the one that you hug periodically. This is the one that you check on in the winter uh, just to make sure that it's doing okay. The A bike. In my case, it is the custom made Mariposa steel bike. Um, as I mentioned, it is loaded. Uh, this one has SRAM red on it throughout. See my other videos, my thoughts on SRAM red. Envy hoops, Envy tires, Envy cockpit, Envy seat post, and a Physique 3D printed saddle. This is my A bike. This is only seeing Bluebird days. So you understand my argument, right? You need at least three bikes if you live in a climate that we do here in, for the most part, for most of Canada, but specifically for here in Ottawa. If you live in somewhere like San Diego, you may not need three bikes. But I'm sure if you do live in somewhere like San Diego, you have a pretty good argument as to why you have more than one bike. That's a wrap for this week. I will not see you next week. Linda and I are off to Paris, France for a few days, um, but the week after we will regroup. Have a great couple of weeks. Take care.